this code sample includes the definition of a class that extends list activity, meaning that when we execute, we shall get a list on screen. In addition, we have um, a file, an XML file, we place within the XML folder, subfolder of res. Now, pay attention that the name of the file is also the name of the resource, the name of the XML resource we create. So actually, within the R auto-generated class, we can find the variable mycountries, because there is a file mycountries.xml, and that variable is a static int variable within the static inner class XML, defined within R. So we can actually access mycountries, a static int variable, by placing r.xml.mycountries. Well, back to the code itself, if you overview the code, you can find a call to the getResources method that returns a resources object on which we can call the getXML method passing over an ID for a specific XML resource we are interested at. Then, we get a reference for an XML pool parser object we can use to parse that very specific XML document. Well, okay, and then when we parse that XML um, document, we extract uh, the names of the countries and tag them into a list and then we use that list when instantiated instantiating the array adapter class in order to configure the list uh, this activity list includes. Um, we also define the on list item click method uh, in order to provide our own implementation for uh, clicking picking an item from the list so each time an item is a is um, a clicked it, uh, this code um, is executed and we get a small toast on screen um, and let's see how does it work this is the outcome uh, as you can see a small toast on screen and that's it